What did you call me? Unreasonable. You're being unreasonable, Mr. Nesbitt. Yeah, ass. Now you listen here to me, boy. Don't you get above yourself. You know what they say, civility costs nothing. I'm sorry, Mr. Nesbitt, but rules are rules. We've been forced to reduce your entitlement to accommodate your change in circumstances. Circumstances? What? Since when did I have circumstances? Who the hell tell you I had circumstances? Most of our tip-offs are anonymous, Mr. Nesbitt. I'm afraid we don't live in a very ethical society. No, and I'll tell you something else. We don't live in a very bloody fair one here. You see that there? You see that? I hope that dog a subhuman kick out the gut. I gave it, I gave it a roof for it. She, I splattered it with the milk of human kindness. Where was your bloody society then, boy, eh? I'm sorry, Mr Nisbet. If you want to take a lodger into your house, that's your affair, but you must expect to pay the price. It's not a lodger. It's not a lodger. Lodgers is, is handsome big bastards in tight jeans that drive trucks and, and try to slip your woman a length when your back's turned. <laughs> the last jump he had was in shock therapy. Hey, are you talking about me? Now I'm warning you, if you talk about me, I will commit suicide. I will, you'd better be bloody quick, because I might commit murder first. <laughs> you see that? See what I'm up against? You see what I'm up against? You listen here to me. We can do this the hard way, or we can do it the psychotically deranged way. <laughs> What's it going to be? You're wasting your time. Your threats fall on deaf ears. Now, if you're wise, you'll be gone before the police arrive. All right, I'm gone, I'm gone. Don't mind your money. You can stuff your money. Compassion is it. Humanity is it. You don't know the bloody meaning of the word. But she has scum, boy. She has scum. You lie, you get a cup of tea out of your house. I mean, fair enough, you might get a, an impetigo scab as a biscuit, but it's a thought of couch. It's a thought of couch, because she has scum. She has scum. We ooze, boy. We're warm. We're always ready with the open hand of friendship. I think ever have you tell him. Oh, you shut your face and I'll get up that road. Go on. She says, well, I've got an understanding wife. They did what? They, they, they cut one pair of it. Look at Susan there. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we was getting too much money anyway, wouldn't we? <laughs> I mean, look at her. Java cakes now Wednesday. That's your decadence. <laughs> I had to last out and name, didn't I? I had to make it up to the wheel. Make what up to the wheel? <laughs> this, you big swine. Burnley, son. What happened to your hair? Oh, that? I said it in the shop for some brow cream. What the hell didn't happen to you? I had to get a shame, Daph. The old swine gave me right warm. Look! <laughs> Garbage. I don't believe it. It's true, Rab. Look there, Gaff. Look. There's nothing the matter with him. He hasn't caught nothing, has he? Oh, Ma. Have you seen my crab ointment and my velvet wife once? <laughs> <laughs> 